Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the importance of wearing a seatbelt. I've been a police officer for 12 and a half years. In that time, I've been assigned to several units. In 2001, I was assigned to the Community Oriented Policing Unit, which I had the opportunity to coach a baseball team, which won the state championship. We went to play second in the regional tournament. Two years later, I was assigned to the Traffic Enforcement Unit as a motor officer. One afternoon, I was dispatched to investigate a rollover accident. Upon my arrival, I noticed a 12-year-old kid laying on the street in a pool of blood. I later learned it was one of the kids which I had coached two years prior. The cause for his death was because he was not wearing a seat belt. According to the National Highway Safety Traffic Administration, there were 32,678 fatalities in 2010. As you can hear, see my statistics, it's a pretty high number. Also, according to NHTSA, in 2007, 1,652 lives were saved, 40,000 injuries were lessened by wearing a seatbelt, and also $5.2 billion could have been saved if people were wearing their seatbelt. That's why wearing a seatbelt is really important because it affects everybody in different aspects. Now let's talk about how we could avoid being a statistic. By making sure every time you get inside a vehicle, you and your passengers buckle up to prevent from being a statistic. According to the National Safety Council, in 2007, 75,000 lives were saved between 2004 and 2008. There's a major difference between wearing your seatbelt and not wearing your seatbelt. Also, according to NHTSA, 50,000, excuse me, 50% 50 injuries were reduced by people that were wearing their seat belts. Another thing you have to take into consideration when you're involved in a vehicle collision is the secondary impacts that are caused. For example, if you are involved in a vehicle accident, your vehicle swerves and strikes a tree or a fixed object, the probabilities of you being injured are more likely also, depending on the speed, every, everything inside your vehicle becomes a projectile. Based on the force, if you're going in a certain direction, you come to a stop. Those objects inside the vehicle will act as a projectile and also can cause injuries. I'll explain the reasons why we should be wearing a seat belt. Most of the people in today's society, drive vehicles, either to go to work, pick up their kids, go grocery shopping. And most of the people don't realize that most of the accidents are caused when you go for the, for the smallest or shortest trips in your life. For example, 75% of all accidents are caused when people are going on short distance trips. People think, or believe that the accidents are caused when they're going long distance trips, but it's the, the opposite. Okay? So it's really important we should wear a seat belt. And a fundamental in uh, education has provided really good statistics. For example, in 2008, the uh, office, the government office of highway safety implemented a, uh, a detail for law enforcement officers to, it's called Pick It or Ticket. This program encourages and educates people in the community. If officers are witness the drivers or passengers not wearing their seat belt and they are stopped for a moving violation, they could receive a citation. In 2008, 81.4% of the drivers were wearing their seat belt. So implementing this kind of programs do actually work. In conclusion, time 
has uh, proven that fatalities can be reduced by wearing their seat belt, injuries can be reduced, and money can be reduced. So to avoid losing a loved one, we need to wear their seat belt and educate all the people that get in our vehicle to wear a seat belt. Thank you.